Right. Oh, I don't think we can get in this way. Just climb over that and then there's still red. Can you feel me? Out for nails and stuff. Right. This one's house there. Or is that just part of this? Got that door? Yeah, I know, yeah. Like prison type door. Uh, we're at an old convent. Yeah. So. Trying to keep quiet. <laughs> yeah. That's ALW. Hello there. It's totally sealed up. How have they got in? I don't know. Who are you? Oh, I can't stand on that one. No. I was just trying to get my balance. Aye, aye, aye. So this is confident. I'm not too sure when it's built or anything. But you look there, there's a file for gas lighting. That is a file for gas lighting. Cool. Hello and welcome to ALW Exploration. This is the old convent. This is a very, very big basement. Oh, it goes on and on. This is a big, big place. Wow. Old stuff there. Shower tray, pot one, not smashed. Pantry. That's old electrics. That that is a central battery system for emergency lighting. More electrics there. All still in. So the cable thieves haven't been yet. Basement area, pantry storage. That's what people used to use before refrigerators were invented. They used to have big cold pantries like that. Down this door. Massive room. Turn the light up a bit now. I couldn't have the light on very bright before because um, we didn't want to give our position away to outside, you know, didn't want anyone getting uh, involved. All the waste room. This is St Gabriel's Convent, originally built in 1829 and occupied by a religious order. This magnificent building was later used, partly, by a children's home in the 1960s. Closing completely in the turn of the millennium, laying derelict for some time, parts of the building suffering from arson and general neglect. Plans to demolish various buildings and erect a care home village for the elderly comprising a 60-bed care home with 17 suites for convent staff accommodation was submitted. Liverpool City Council's planning committee gave the go-ahead for the St Gabriel's Convent Care Village on the 30th of October 2012. Planning permission was granted despite objections from the Walton Society and a number of local residents. 
the conversion and renovation never happened, and in 2016, a plan to convert the house into apartments and build additional dwellings in the grounds was proposed, but this has also not started. I am joined on this explore by the urban legend UK. Already inside the building is Tom and Carl. Links to their channels in the description box. See this is modern building materials that haven't been used. So it's possible that this was going to get renovated at some point. But well, that's quite old, that's gone off. That's all bag of thistle, plaster. No bags of uh, browning, which is what sticks plasterboards to walls. It's called, they call it, um, sorry, it's adhesive. That's adhesive that sticks the board to the walls. What they call dot and dab. Old room, there's been a fireplace there, it's boarded up. 14 people who claim they were abused at the children's home run by nuns took a compensation claim to the Manchester High Court in May 1999. The claim comes after Andrew Christian, a voluntary worker here at St Gabriel's Convent in Liverpool, was jailed for 11 years in February 1998 for indecently assaulting 13 boys. Mr Christian worked at the home from 1967 to 1985. It is alleged that the nuns in the convent knew the abuse was going on, but chose to turn a blind eye. The 14 claimants raged between 10 and 16 when they were at the home, which was known as Knoll Park Children's Home. The 14 include some of the 13 that Christian was convicted of abusing and others who came forward as a result of the investigation. Grand fireplace. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you? Hello. You all right? You getting off? Have you not got in? No, we got before. So have you been in or not been in? Yeah, we've been in the house. Did you guys make up the inner ceiling before? Through the basement. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, the ceiling Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the other guys. No. Bay window there. Very nice, that. I just blinded the urban legend. But it's just suddenly occurred to me that I'm in a big old house on my own. We don't know if there's anybody else in here. We got in through the basement, so. Might just follow Will for a bit. Came up, wasn't it, yes, there's another I think turn and right somewhere. That it's like an old stock room. Yeah, there's all there's the like cabinet built into the space inside yeah. the day. Pattern wallpaper. Pattern. Sliding doors, is that still sliding? Try it. Nearly, well, it's all swelled up because it's all mouldy. But you can see. Storage and stuff. Yeah, that, that would have slid really nicely at one point. Yeah. But not anymore. Cheers. There's another basement to the right, and there's a stairwell that looks quite damaged. Operation Care 
was the codename of a police investigation concerning widespread allegations of historical child sexual abuse in children's home in the Merseyside district of England. The investigation carried on despite claims that police used trawling methods to dig up evidence. These look like, this looks like a big kitchen. It's been a toilet that's been smashed to bits. Yeah, been a little office. Very sinister, isn't it? Very sinister indeed. I was walking around thinking, I don't know if anybody else is in here. So, have you been down there? No, I yeah, no. I, I, I was in here one year, and yeah. some guy was in here with a hammer banging on the fucking walls. Me and right. my friends had to walk back out to the police in complete darkness, because that was a threat. Wow. I know. Bashing stuff up. Good meeting you. Will? Yeah. yeah. You. Tom's getting off. Yeah, yeah, let's nice. explore with Tom. Nice right. to meet you. Tom, you guys. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Awesome. Nice. Yeah. Cheers. Make sure if you get anything here, message me so I know. Yeah, we'll do. Awesome, guys. Cheers. All right. If I get any what? If you hear anything. Yeah, okay. Well, like spooky? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Are you coming down or going up? Uh, I've been upstairs, it's just completely like this. It's not is that it? Like it's loads and loads it? of this. Yeah. Well, like go down there. Brilliant, it? Yeah. Should we sort of stick together? Yeah. I don't yeah. know where I'm going. Um, I don't want to get lost. Anyway. So let's go down. I'm down joined by Exploring with Carl. Hello. Yeah, I don't mind going in abandoned buildings, I'm not scared of ghosts or all, but I am scared of camps with knives, mm. smack heads and... I'll just give a couple of cigs to be alright. Yeah, I don't smoke. <laughs> I've got some, so... I ain't got any cigs. I think they'll be happy. I've got See, some. The gas supply there is still on. Is it still and on? Then, yeah, yeah, that's on that. Oh. And then... Just more big basement rooms. That says open me, but it's already open. Uh, what's that? Is that a sleeping bag? I don't know what that is. It's like a beanbag. Oh, wow, and it goes down even more. Another room down there. Uh, yeah, I don't know what they are. No. Don't know. Look at that mould up there. Carry on. Just had to uh, change the battery in the camera. So um, let's go this way. We've been through there. That's how we got in. How did you get in? Did you come in through the basement or? No, the top ladders. All oh, right. Some, Not found those. Yeah. yeah. Are we going up here? Yeah, it'll do. He's a bit dodgy though. Urban Legends that way. And there they are. Hello! Hello, welcome to the show. <laughs> welcome to the Urban Legends show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, off we out. Off the way out we go. Yeah, them stairs are pretty bad. Yeah. They're just like bits of wood, hold, literally pieces of wood holding it all together. Nice plaster work, but... Yeah, well... I don't want to go upstairs because it is pretty rotten. And I think it'll just collapse, so we're leaving it. So we're going... Back down into the basement to get out. So it's a bit easier than... Uh, the other way. So, I'm Andy from ALW Exploration. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you every Tuesday and Thursday at 8pm. 
Bye bye for now. Looking over my shoulder, looking back at your door. In my head it goes over and over. Should I 